All through New York State's Adirondack Mountains, strange reports have begun to surface. Men, women, and children who fish are hooking mysterious and perhaps very large freshwater creatures. To date, no one has managed to haul one of the monsters up from the depths. In the absence of hard facts, imagination and anxiety run wild. I can't tell you what it is, but I got a look at one one morning right down here by the lake. I think it was a beaver, a beaver the size of a bear. It was so dark out. I mean, I only had the moon for light and still that was, it was covered by clouds so I could barely see. But this thing, I mean, when I saw it, it struck fear straight into my heart. They're big. They're, they yank your line. You never manage to pull one up. Some people are saying they're giant reptiles with spiky tails. I, I don't know, you know, like that Loch Ness monster or Lockie or whatever it's called over there. But they're big, and I, I think I got one now. Dang! Slowly, a consensus has begun to emerge. There's absolutely no way there's such a thing as a giant beaver. Oh, I believe there's a giant beaver, for sure. There couldn't possibly be a giant beaver here ever. Giant beaver? Oh, sure. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, I believe in the giant beaver. In fact, I was told this coat was made from an Adirondack giant beaver. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think I've heard of that beaver. It was about as big as a buck. Good possibility there's a giant beaver. From what you've all just told me, I don't see why it couldn't be true. Local Indian lore, they talk about a giant beaver. And uh, so, I, yes, I do. I believe there's a giant beaver. Oh, no, she's real. She's real. The Adirondack Mountains, which contain remote pockets of wilderness, may harbor a small, relict population of giant beavers. These animals vanished at the end of the last ice age. Or did they? This wasn't just, like a fish or a muskrat you see in there. I mean, this thing was giant, so it's something that we don't know about yet. I just saw the big, the brown, and I saw a big brown eye, and that's really it. It was only quick, and then it went right back under the water with a big splash. I was in my kayak, and I saw, there was like this big splash, and I saw a brown here, it was about that big, and it went through the water, like it sliced through the water, and I turned around to see what, what it was, and the next thing I knew, I, my kayak had flipped over and I was in the water. And while I was under the water, I saw this big paddle-shaped foot, it was webbed, and I swam to the shore as fast as I could and tried to get out of the water as fast as I could. It really, really scared me. What was that? Wait, I got a flashlight! Lena, where are you going? Something flew across the road and my dad abruptly stopped the truck. My flashlight was next to me so I grabbed it and I ran out and chased after it. I went down and I shined it on the ground and I would have swore I saw a giant beaver but then it ran off into the woods. It was the scariest thing I ever saw. I thought that giant beaver was going to swallow my daughter whole. So we were just driving along all of a sudden, this huge thing just bolted across the road. I don't really know what it was, but all of a sudden we came to a stop because we didn't want to hit it. And my sister just jumped out of the car and started running after it. I don't know what she was thinking. She was crazy. They tell me it was a giant beaver, but I'm not quite so sure. All I know is it was big and it was fast. I don't know why I chased it, but I'd rather chase a giant beaver than just a beaver. Well, I was out hunting down by the river and I saw a set of tracks coming up from the water. Big tail drag, big web feet marks. You would have sworn they were beaver tracks, but this beaver was way too big. It must have been the size of a Volkswagen. I actually met the giant beaver, tried catching him, and he bit my finger off. I've seen a bunch of giant beavers on the snowmobile trail in Lake Clear. Yes, I believe there's a giant beaver and I saw him out at the Shamrock last spring. I myself have seen the giant beaver. Beaver. Yeah, I did see the beaver around town. It tipped my kayak over. The beaver was so big. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. The beaver's big up in this here park. The beaver is real big. If there is a beaver in Saranac Lake that's large enough to take down a small child. I live on the river. I've seen it. It's gigantic. I'd say uh, highly unlikely. As a scientist, you should never say with 100% certainty, but... Uh, the last reported remains that are confirmed are about 11,000 years old. So they were definitely in New York State, but it's been a long time since they were around. Here in the Adirondack Park, uh, there have been a spate of recent sightings of giant beavers. 
Uh, the department is uh, investigating. We're on top of this situation. We have searched for giant beavers. We have searched for their trackways, their, their droppings, uh, all sign of uh, activity, them feeding on trees. And uh, to date, we have determined the, no giant beaver presence. These things have been extinct since the Ice Age, and it's extremely, extremely unlikely that there could be any alive in the Adirondack Park today. As photos, videos, tracks, and other traces accumulate, the idea of the giant beaver surviving in the Adirondacks begins to seem a lot less preposterous. No single piece of evidence offers conclusive proof of the rodent's presence, yet findings are otherwise difficult to explain. Paul Smith's college professor Kurt Steger is a paleoecologist, a biologist who studies ancient life in prehistoric environments. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So that's a plaster cast of a footprint, I imagine, uh, from some sandy soil there. So um, if this were a real plaster cast of a real footprint, and if it were from a giant beaver, which I'm highly skeptical of, it would be about the right length and width. It shouldn't be too wildly different from a scaled up version of this real beaver foot. Of course, it would be that side there would make the print. It should have the right number of toes. One, two, three, four, five. I see a one, two, three, four, five on there. Uh, but I'm still not really convinced. Judging from the skeletons, uh, the sizes range from six to seven feet long. And uh, in terms of weight, it'd be about two something, 250 pounds, something like, like a fairly decent sized human being, like extra large human being. How about their scats? Giant beavers, I'm sure, made giant scats. And uh, regular beaver poo's pretty ugly when you're paddling along in the shallows and you see it on the bottom of a pond. So I can imagine uh, it would have been a much larger mess. I wouldn't mess with one. I mean, uh, I certainly wouldn't leave any valuable wooden furniture outside where they could get to them. Um, you know, beavers can be aggressive sometimes, and if they saw you uh, in their territory messing with their dam, I certainly wouldn't want to have one angry at me. If the giant beaver was here, what would we find out there? You could look for uh, signs of chewing on the tree trunks, like extra big trees, and the drag marks maybe where they took them into the water. You could be looking for footprints in the, the wet soil around the water body. You could be listening for them, for the big slap of a giant tail on the water like a warning sound. And uh, although I'm skeptical of any of this, uh, if you did happen to come across any such things, I'd sure like to hear about them. The most compelling evidence of giant beavers in the Adirondacks is known as the Bottles film. Actually, a series of clips shot by legendary Adirondack naturalist and guide Ted Bottles. These videos show what appears to be an enormous beaver moving on land, swimming in water, and felling a tree. Tell you what it is, but I saw one. Or give me the first line. I got one now. Uh, we'd had a few beers and uh, we started to hear strange sounds out there. Don't think it had anything to do with the beer, mind you.
her. I just saw her last Thursday. Yeah, I see them all the time on a summer's eve. Yeah, I'm going to meet her at the water hole on Saturday night. What? There it goes! The beaver is real big. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go. Wait, 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 sorry, come back. <laughs> Just a little bit slower, okay? Okay, what? with a beaver. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Oh, wait, I'm driving. <laughs> oh, so you, <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to be there. <laughs> Duh. Oh, Take two. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I don't know why I chased it, but I'd rather chase it. <sighs> For the first time in my life, I'm speechless. Quiet on the set. <laughs> and as the beaver, let's just say, running across the road is not a smart plan. Beaver me or beaver me? Beaver me, I find unattractive and it sounds terrible. <laughs> beaver me, on the other hand, I know I've never had it. They tell me it was a giant beaver, but I'm not quite so, so sure. <laughs> so, so sure. <laughs> this is painful. I don't know. It was big, really big, and it was scary. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. Oh.